Hey guys, it's Pelly. In this video, we will be discussing the early 2000s fashion and how to achieve the aesthetic. With all my video, I break everything down so you can understand and get all the information. Timestamp is in the video description. I'll be making fashion topic video on this channel, so subscribe if you are interested. Enjoy! Before I begin, I want to mention the difference between the Y2K aesthetic and early 2000s aesthetic. The Y2K was all about the craze for the new millennium where we saw a lot of technological aesthetic influence. I made a video on it, please go check it out. But these days, people are using the Y2K aesthetic when they really mean the early 2000s. This Paris Hilton and Mean Girl, Casual Chic, Pink and Blinging, Rhinestone aesthetic. I have no problem with people calling it a Y2K either, but I think that's important to mention because we are seeing some of the Y2K techie new millennium aesthetic coming back too. Um, with that being said, let's get into the video. The year is 2020 and we are basically living in the future. But fashion lives throughout time and one fashion moment in the early 2000s made its way to the future. The early 2000s aesthetic already made its return during the late 2010s. We already saw some aspect of it being revamped for our time, but I believe it will only get bigger and influence other trends as the years go by. So get ready to learn about the early 2000s aesthetic, its own creation, evolution, and how to achieve it. It's very important to revisit fashion show from this time period because most fashion trends are set by what's brought down the runway. Fashion designers have a lot of influences, but with the early 2000s, how the trends are created will be different. Betsy Johnson 2001 Spring Collection inspired some aspect for the early 2000s aesthetic with a soft pastel color palette and Playboy bunny ear and logo. But fashion brands like Juicy Couture and Baby Fat really took it to the next level. Juicy Couture would send their design to celebrities like Paris Hilton, helping them get exposure for their brand and becoming a 2000 obsession. While Baby Fat took to the runway, during that time, urban fashion was on the rise as many hip-hop superstars were starting their own fashion brand. Both Juicy Couture and Baby Fat used celebrities' influence to be taken seriously and set trend for the early 2000s. We will also see the early 2000s aesthetic trends incorporated with major fashion brands like Gucci, Versace, and Chanel. Fendi introduced the baguette. The baguette was a small bag that would be carried on a short strap. Fendi lent the purse as part for HBO Sex in the City and now it's often called the first it bag. What? Your bag. It's a baguette. Let me have it. I couldn't believe it. 15 years in New York and just when the city was getting safe, I was getting mugged. The pochette, the LV version, will become an iconic version of the bag as well. The bag will also be called the Rachel bag because of the TV show Friends. So television also influenced the 2000 trends. And with fast fashion on the rise during this time, it allows shoppers to own the trendiest designer item for a low price. Department stores were making billions of dollars from knocking off designer brands. So there were many versions of the baguettes walking around. The early 2000s also had sport influence and we saw a different version of it. While Juicy Couture wanted the tracksuit to be luxurious, there were girls who wore jersey as dress. The early 2000s gave us movies like Mean Girls, Bring It On, Legally Blonde, and A Cinderella Story. These teens movies are very important to the aesthetic. These movies are iconic, largely due to the amazing characters and fashion. The early 2000s also created new ways to be famous with reality TV where they had so much fashion influence. Anna Nicole, Paris Hilton, and Nicole Richie exploded. Paris Hilton is a 2000 aesthetic queen. She's very prominent in her fashion game during that time was, you can say, trendy. No wonder so many people are going back to her old looks for inspiration. We also got plenty of bobs from Britney Spears, Ashanti, 
Christina Aguilera, Beyonce, and many, many more. These pop stars not only gave us songs we could dance to, but fashion. These celebrities ruled the red carpet, sometimes, you know, flop, but slayed the magazine photo shoot. With the rise of MP3 and iPod, music had a lot of influence in the 2000s fashion. All these things, including everything I mentioned earlier, will ultimately come together and make the early 2000s an iconic time in pop culture history, giving us the nostalgia craze known as the early 2000s aesthetic. The early 2000s aesthetic really became a thing during the late 2010s. Maybe it was the nostalgia craze, as many TV shows and movies were getting rebooted, such as Lizzie McGuire and Mean Girls were headed to Broadway. Also, music video from Ariana Grande and Normani only increased her interest and hype for it. There's also this thing called the 20 years rule that basically means the fashion and pop culture really recycle every two decades. I believe in this rule and really think it played a factor. Trends really do come back every 20 years. Well, at first, it was kind of like an Instagram baddies and Tumblr aesthetic. Now, aspect of it have already gone mainstream. It's the new look, it's the new fashion moment of the new decade. Okay, now that you have a little background on the aesthetic, welcome to the how-to section. With the how-to section, I'll list the most popular, trendy item for the aesthetic and at the end, provide some styling ideas. Let's begin with tops. It's all about showing skin. Show a little belly skin with a tight fitted t-shirt or go all the way off and wear a crop top. You can wear a long sleeve shirt, but let it be fitted to your upper body. And bring some personality to your t-shirt with quotes, logos, or just words. Halter top if you want it to be extra, or add some rhinestone to your shirt. Also, if you want some sex appeal, find a top that has an asymmetrical cutout or slit. If you didn't want any sex appeal, throw on a cardigan, but wear it size down. Mesh and sheer layer would be great, as well as fur coats. Next, bottoms. Again, show some skin. Shorts are okay, pants are okay, but skirts would be the best. Whether it's mini, pleated, or just a tight skirt, skirts were winning. You can never go wrong with pants with side laces and jeans with rhinestone. Also, capri pants. If you want it to be casual chic, wear a low-rise jean with a statement belt. Okay, for the heels, kidney heels or strappy heels, add some fake fur, and I see a lot of wedges too. Halter dresses were very popular. Pick a dress that's light and flowy and that does have a lot of fabric, or have fun and wear a jersey dress like Mariah Carey. The makeup were more natural and soft, but still make sure to carry your lip gloss with you and keep your hair out of your face. Use a headband or bandana. That leads me to accessories. Hair clips were very popular, especially the butterfly one. Sparkling necklaces and tiny watches were also cute. Also new boys hats and bucket hats. I'm seeing a lot of color lens sunglasses as well. And chain belts are very fashionable. And don't forget about your baguette. You better slay with the baguette. Now here's some popular things for the aesthetic. Logos, Playboy, Hello Kitty, Dior, LV, Cartoon. Don't be afraid to take inspiration from Braxtall or from cartoons such as The Wings Club. Track suit or velour suit were very popular as you notice. Lip gloss is a necessity. Butterfly is the symbol. Rhinestone or glitter if you want to be seen. Sequin, velvet, silk, that's the texture. And pink is the most popular color for the aesthetic. And here's what the early 2000s aesthetic is today. Just like every fashion aesthetic, everyone put their own twist to it. And that's what I encourage you to do. You can definitely try to emulate these styles, but can still express your own personality and taste. Make sure to have fun. You can see the Paris Hilton, the 2000s celebrity fashion influence, the urban fashion influences, and the mean girl and teen movie influence in the early 2000s aesthetic. I hope you got a good picture of what the early 2000s aesthetic was and what it is today. And I hope that inspires you to put your own spin on it. The early 2000s aesthetic is making a huge comeback. You already noticed it, and there's gonna be several trends from that that will make a comeback. So get ready for it.
Thank you for watching. This is the end of the video, but please comment on what you think about the early 2000s aesthetic and let me know if I missed anything. I probably did. Like if you found this video informative and subscribe for more fashion topic video. I'm Pelly. I love fashion. I'll see you next time. Bye.